Hey, welcome everyone to our new YouTube video. We are the Dimitrov Boulay Piano Duo. My name is Dimitri Dimitrov. And my name is Alfira Boulay. And today we are going to go through this wonderful, this so such beautiful piece by Mendelssohn, Songs Without Words, because we were just asked to play a concert after so many of the concerts being cancelled, and so we thought we'd record a little part of our practice. We'll go through the piece, see, we've played it before, so we know the piece already, we just want to see, we, we haven't practiced it for quite some time, we just want to see if everything is okay, what we need to fix, and to be ready for our performance. Maybe make, make sure that the first note is very clear. Because we have this accompaniment. Yeah. You see, it, yeah, it, it, it mixes yeah. a little bit with... Uh, oh, actually, your accompaniment, if you It like. is my accompaniment. It's, yeah. it's exactly yeah. that. So, because, because Elvira has actually... And this E flat is actually part of the melody later on. She has... Da, da, ti, da, da, da. So you have to do one's accompaniment. Yeah. We distinguish what's the, what's the difference. Shall we try? Yeah, and I think the interesting thing, because I just practiced this uh, like half an hour ago, just to go through it once by myself, the balance is completely different, of course, when we're playing together, and that's yeah. why it's so important that we rehearse together. Yeah, and I have this very low register that's very powerful in our grand piano, mm -hmm. and so we need to... When you play with somebody, you will see that you have to do different things than when you actually are playing by yourself. out for is the accompaniment we shouldn't start every time slow okay. <laughs> I, I, I sometimes try to to move it a little forward mm -hmm. but you tend to like to take this time which is beautiful mm -hmm. but I think if you do it all the time it becomes it drags the piece a little yeah. bit backwards yeah. so sometimes it's nice but sometimes it's nice to just have not every time See, it stops it. Uh, where would you like to take? Shall we take maybe six? Is that comfortable? Uh, six is fine. Yeah. You see, exactly. So now, now it was nice. Here, for example, we take a little bit more time. Yeah, exactly. When the phrase... It depends where the phrase... Um, your timing would usually depend on where your phrase is. If you're in the beginning of your phrase and you are building from slower to a little bit faster tempo, then you can allow also the accompaniment to be a little bit hesitant. But if you're in the middle of your phrase and you're moving actually already at a steady pace and you reached your, your maximum speed for this piece, you want not to slow it down artificially. Yep. So that, that was, for example, very nice. You did it very good, like at the end of seven, you felt that we we're slowing down. And so the accompaniment also slowed down. Yep. Shall we take it one last time from six and then we yep. continue mm -hmm. for it? actually much more natural like yeah, that. From yeah, from 10.
balance is very often more notes are missing. Okay. You yeah. have to try to make sure that that everything is balanced the, the same way. comfortable here yeah, um, yeah and the tension is building and yeah. then I that's probably why I made the mistake there so I think that if I take it once more from here yeah that will give me a good practice because I get very uncomfortable in this okay system. yeah where do you want to start can we take it from here or from 10 again or let's let's do it from 10 again yeah a single note and sometimes I and uh, I want to hear all the chords can okay, we yeah. do it from 18 uh, yeah. playing this piece mm -hmm. in blocks of two bars, in blocks mm -hmm. of four bars, and I don't like that. Okay. Like, like for example, I already, before the repeat here, I had the feeling that it's just getting in blocks. Da, 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 da. Like, and sometimes I like to have a little bit longer line. Ti, da, I think that we that might achieve that by not taking so much time. Yeah. We are taking time w with a lot of things because there's a lot of beautiful things. Yeah, exactly. But perhaps a little bit less. Yeah, l l let's tr let's try from let's try from the repeat. We repeat and we try to take it a little bit more natural. Mm -hmm. Like when something is repeated, to not repeat it with time. That, it's, like that, that it yeah. gets a little bit more natural. Don't lose it. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
because it's too soft and then we don't have anything. Can we do it from... I like the flow a little bit better. I think it does feel more natural. And especially, I think, what would be advice for our students as well is when you take time, think of it like this. When you take, when you borrow something, you have to give it back. The same is with, the same is with, with time in music. When you take a little bit of time, give it back. When you, when you push something forward and you go a little bit faster, slow down a little bit because then there is balance. So if you feel in music when you're playing, if you're already confident with your piece and you're playing something and you feel that, okay, I took a little bit of time there, I wanted to enjoy that place, then later on catch up a little bit because then your your listeners, when they're listening to, to what you're playing or even yourself, you will see that the music just keeps on flowing. It doesn't stop in one place. So let's be alert also ourselves when we're playing that if we take some more time, it's not necessary to go really faster, but just catch up a little bit after that and don't don't do it too often. Yeah, and I think in this case, for me personally, what might have happened is that this is, as Dimitar mentioned, an old piece for us. We've played it already, we've performed it already. I think sometimes ideas get so kind of rusty, they get kind of they sink in so much yeah. that you don't they're not fresh anymore and they kind of become a habit instead yeah. of you remembering the reason why you did it in the first place. Like, why did you take time there? Because it's beautiful, right? Not just to have it like, oh, we're taking time here. Um, so I think that with me, it became a little bit maybe too settled or too... The idea became a little bit too... Ingrained. In ingrained. Yeah. Oh, I like that yeah. word. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It stays there and you don't even think anymore what, what you're doing. And that's why sometimes... Um, not sometimes for us when we play together we can remind each other hey what's happening here or when you have lessons that's why you're having lessons your teacher hey wake up here that's something is not working well and that gives you extra inspiration so okay so let's take it from bar 24 and just go through the second ending of the piece and just finish it see how that goes sound yeah the piano oh, oh, I, I, I better not sing because we'll lose the fans uh, yeah. it's a little bit different atmosphere mm -hmm. it changes a little bit and don't lose your last note yeah that's another I think of when I do it by myself, it actually sounds perfectly phrased, but when you, when yeah. I, there's another player added, uh, it just, the balance is different. So I have to actually play it louder than I'm used to if I practice it by myself. Am I the other player? You're the other player. Oh, okay, <laughs> let's do it from 28. I'm absolutely a maniac on on play all your notes, don't skip notes. Like that's my my first teacher taught me, and that's how you can have a very decent playing, very clear playing. Don't skip any notes. Like I go crazy when a note is skipped. So I torture Elvira all the time no, you don't. I, with this. You're so right. It sounds amazing when when all the notes are there. Just not only all the notes are there. Sometimes Dimitar also says a missing note if the line, like if the phrase is interrupted. For example, if I would be playing a phrase and then one of the notes is too soft, that's already missing. Yeah, but it, it's a missing note. It sounds amazing if you are really, really, really focused yeah, on that. Yeah. So listen to all your notes that you're playing. It doesn't matter if it's a little bit too much, but better play all the notes. After that, you can adjust. Yeah, I will here. remove the yeah. self pedal. Is sometimes I feel that it's maybe too loud. That's why. Um, make sure that you make it clear for me where is your melody and where is your yeah. bell, uh, your lower voice. Yeah. Yeah, 
it's very very uh, this is a place that's a little bit insecure still once more It's never just so satisfied. uncomfortably written because you are like I'm yeah. sometimes missing notes because you have to play them one second after. My melody notes are all in the accompaniment one second after. That's why I miss them sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Elvira is looking for excuses why this place isn't working since we played a piece. So we're going to stop the video here. I'm going to murder her <laughs> and uh, we will discuss this off the camera because I don't agree. It's not comfortable. It's Uncomfortable is not an excuse why you shouldn't play something good <laughs> enough. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. You will help us grow this channel. Subscribe to our channel also if, of course, you want to be informed whenever we upload new videos. You can also visit our Instagram, the same name, Dimitrov Boulay. Follow us there. We upload very regularly there. Something else? I think that was it. I hope we uh, play good at the concert. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being here for us. It was a pleasure to record this video, this practice session for you. And we'll see you next time again.